Don Zo's a fucking prick, a cunt, an asshole, a piece of shit. Don Zo's a fucking prick. So on this week's episode of Don Zo Shippuden, Don Zo is yet again an asshole. So it clearly shows with this week's episode that a lot of this filler was mainly just trying to not only show Kakashi, but Yamato, as obvious as it's been with this Yamato stuff, but you see the change and the development with him from how he was just completely like shut out, like, okay, Donzo's rule is just, that's it, to he was kind of questioning himself last week with the whole thing of like, wow, he killed his friend, to this week he kind of understood that Kakashi just saved me, he's a good friend, I shouldn't be doing these things, and he just went like completely a 180 now, and he's more so understanding of like, yeah, I shouldn't be this fucked up individual that I've been for a while following Donzo's role. So, good character development with Yamato in this episode. If I see another scene of him in that fucking fish tank, drowning and thinking about saving somebody, I'm gonna choke somebody because, oh my god, I fucking hate that scene already from seeing it so many goddamn times. I'm assuming that that wasn't actually Orochimaru in the jar, but that was some sort of test or some sort of clone that looks identical to him when he is in a snake form, because if not, then Kakashi killed Orochimaru. Maybe this is the changing of the timeline of Naruto. But seriously, that's probably just some sort of clone or experiment that he was working on. And this week's episode also really made me truly believe that while Hiddleston was a very just and fair leader, he was a very good person, ultimately he was too fucking nice. Like, with this week's episode, Donzo is there, basically, he put out a hit on somebody from the Hidden Leaf. He put out a hit on Kakashi. He was basically trying to kill him, and he was seemingly, like, gonna fucking do some fucked up shit to Yamato. And he's like, whoa, you know, please give me this Shinobi. I'm like, shut the fuck up, what do you mean, please? You should take his fucking head off right then and there, rip off his arms, and beat the living fuck out of him. Like, he is targeting people from your village, and you're letting him go by, and it's like... After the betrayal last time where you told him, oh, you should just, you know, I'm going to let this one slide and just follow me and be a good person from now on. And he's still not being a good person. He's still in cahoots with Orochimaru. He's still doing these fucked up things to these young kids. He's like a fucking predator or some shit. But I mean, seriously, like, Hiruzen should have took some action against Donzo, either banished him from the Hidden Leaf or, you know, fucking beheaded his ass or some shit. Maybe beheaded he would never do anyway. So, okay, that's probably too cruel, but he should have banished him from the Hidden Leaf, at least done something get rid of him, because at the end of the day, like, even in this episode, is clear display of him just being uh, a dick and doing whatever the fuck he wants, and it, it comes to a point where when he's targeting people for their eyes in your village, that's when you should say, yo, it's time to cut the cord, Donzo needs to go. I find it funny how Donzo's walking around with a cane, and he's like, oh yeah, trying to show that he's just a brittle old man, can't do nothing, when in reality he's doing all these experiments and all these forbidden juices, and he's just trying to like cover it up. He's a really good uh, master of deception, The Art of Deception by Donzo. In this episode, the goods of it is that it gave character development to Yamato, showed his change, and how he went from just complete, complete being closed off and cold hearted to a decent person and it also progressed through the timeline because next week's episode or next episode I don't know if we're going to have an episode next week I think next week might be a break but the next episode is going to be years from now and also stated in this episode that the Gene Tudiki Naruto is four years old at this point I really would like to see little Naruto in this at, at least a glimpse of him of some sort to see what, what he was looking like what he was doing of course he was being harassed by the village but it would have been nice to see little Naruto at this point but nonetheless so we got progression through the timeline, and next week again, or next episode, is going to be a um, few years into the future because you see guys a lot older, and they're finally going to have their adult voices. But to be honest with you, I'm pretty disappointed because I really thought, from what I heard, that the next episode was going to be back to canon, back to the main timeline. The only saving grace of me being like, you know, not wanting to just completely strangle myself is the fact that next episode, seemingly Itachi is going to be in it. And I'm pretty psyched to see Itachi and his Anbu days because apparently he's going to be, I'm guessing, a replacement for when Kakashi leaves the Anbu or when somebody leaves the Anbu, it looked like they need a new replacement and they're going to bring Itachi into the Anbu. So I guess this is slowly leading up to the Uchiha massacre. Hopefully the timeline, you know, stops right there and then we finally get back to the main story. So this episode, it had its good moments. It was overall, it had some good stuff. Some stuff felt very dragged out. I'm tired as hell of seeing Yamaha 
Yamato in that fucking tank, drowning there, like, help me, I'm, I gotta save my people, like, that shit got me sick as hell, that is repetitive, I'm tired of it, I don't want to see it anymore, but it did have some good qualities to it, again, character development, some progression through the timeline of the past, and just a little bit more interesting things, but fucking heroes in, like, yo, you were a great person, but you were too kind, and that was a big flaw, because all the shit that Donzo did, while Donzo had good intentions for the Leaf as a whole, he was a fucking piece of rat shit, like, fuck Donzo times a billion. Overall, I'm gonna give this episode six and a half out of ten, it had some fine qualities to it, I just feel as though, like, now the, the filler has gone beyond just dragging, it's like, next week another filler, and while I'm excited to see Tachi, and that makes me completely not say fuck this filler at this point, I'm still like, yo, why are they dragging this out so long? But let me know what you guys think. What did you think about Donzo in this episode? Did you love him? Did you hate him? <laughs> like, I can't even ask that question with a straight face because, like, fuck Donzo. And did you enjoy seeing the change in Yamato from kind of just being closed off to this week's episode? He just completely is like, yeah, no, I can't abandon my people. I'm a shinobi of the Hidden Leaf, not only of the Foundation. He's telling me to do these fucked up things. And what are your thoughts on my question? Do you think that Hidozen was just way too fucking lenient and too nice? Because at the end of the day, it's like... He let Donzo even lead to the destruction and the annihilation of the Uchiha. Like, he fucking was just too nice. Like, too, too nice. And that's a flaw in and of itself because you got to be just but stern. And he was just like, yo, Donzo, I, I, you, you're my friend, so I'm going to keep letting you slide in. Nah. But that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for next week's episode or next episode having Itachi again. I'm not sure if we're going to have an episode next week. We might have a break, but don't take my word on that. But uh, thumbs up for Itachi because I'm looking forward to at least seeing him in his Anbu days. And after this stuff, hopefully we can finally get back to the main timeline because I'm even getting excited seeing Obito in the ending. Just like, oh yeah, that's the main timeline. Like, yeah, at least I get to see that. That's how bad I want to get back to the main story. I'm for Neverworld and as always, people, have an awesome day.